All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you some progress I've made in working with some software called Real Dash to take the CAN bus settings from our Evolution Cart golf cart and feed in some of the missing data. That would be things like gear selection, what battery percentage we're at, whether our high beams are on and off, and try to build a custom gauge cluster that would replace our original one. So, so far what I've learned is that I've been able to tap into the CAN settings and read what's available using my PC and just a normal CAN bus software. To get that data fed into uh, Real Dash, what you're going to need is a USB to CAN wave share adapter. And so all I've done on this Android device is plug this in to the back of the device using their existing USB slots. So this is just an Amazon special. This one was $145, four gigs of RAM, 64 gig hard drive. Uh, it fit, the display unit fits as a direct replacement in size into the evolution cart. Now there are some downfalls with doing this swap, uh, which I am learning. One is that there is no dedicated 12 volt on the cart while it's off or while it's on. And that is causing these displays to take a long boot time. They boot, take about 20 to 30 seconds to boot up. Uh, but other than that, I think it would be really cool to try to build our own dash, even just as an engineering example, using the data that's coming from uh, the CAN bus line. I'm hoping there might be uh, some other interesting attributes on the CAN bus once I figure out how to decode it that we could visualize in interesting and cool ways on the dashboard. Uh, maybe it's torque, maybe it's wattage, uh, other things like that. I would love to do a really cool, unique dash. And so this setup is our first step towards it. So I've tapped into the CAN bus line, which is hidden back inside of here. Uh, I think we're tapped into the green and yellow on this one, which comes to this little adapter in the factory one, which I've tapped into to go to here. So because these displays run Android, we can just go back. And so one of the first things I did was I was using um, US, serial to USB terminal. So I used this software to just make sure that I could even see my serial adapter down here. So what you can do is go into here, uh, go into the side, go into USB devices, and you should see that serial device appear. So this is a good sign. This means the drivers were detected and it's using the CH340 uh, kind of serial to USB adapter. So the Android OS, this one's actually running Android 10, did detect our serial to USB adapter. So if you uh, download this, you will be able to go in here and kind of see it, which is a great first step. Uh, the other thing you can do is you can hit connect and you can see the data that is starting to feed in here. Uh, and so the buffer is going to overflow because of the speed in which I'm doing it. But you can see data is flowing. Oh, there it goes. There's a big chunk of it. And so I'm just going to hit disconnect before this crashes. Let's disconnect it. And so generally to do this on the evolution cart, what we do need is in the settings to be 500 thousand like bits so 500 kilobits per second is the is the uh, rate i'm just going to close this by going here and hitting clear all okay so on the dash i'm going to go back into real dash and so inside of real dash you set up the configurations for your vehicle sorry if this is uh, connecting to my car play because it's close by on my phone i'm just going to go back let's go back to real dash and so when we're done, Real Dash is going to boot directly. So we'll set Real Dash as the boot application, and it will open by default when we're done all of our configurations. But I wanted to show you the progress that I've made so far inside of Real Dash. So we're going to go here, we're going to go to our garage. Now in the garage, this is where you would configure what vehicle this is running on. They've done kind of an interesting job. So because this is a golf cart, you know, I've specified that the engine is actually electric, uh, how many kilowatts it is, things like that. Uh, so that is all done inside of here. I'm just gonna go, sorry, go back to my garage for a second. We're going to go inside the car. We're gonna click on the dash. And so you can see here the connections, I've set up one called the WaveShare USB to CAN, and I'm gonna tap on that one. There's a few settings in here that you wanna make sure you've done. So the CAN speed on the golf cart, 500 kilobits per second. So that matches the speed on the cart. The CAN mode, make sure you set that to normal. Uh, I don't have a description file yet, so this is something I'm gonna work on building for you guys. 
so that everyone can upload the CAN description file and automatically have all those attributes available inside of Real Dash. Uh, and then you can go into Car Monitor here, so we can jump into it. And what this does is it shows you the different CAN IDs, and it does a good job of highlighting in white the ones that are changing in between load, which bits are changing. So obviously we have some here that are related to the battery, some fluctuating voltage, maybe current. Uh, and so we can see those here. Uh, otherwise, as we've done before, if I switch the cart into drive, for example, so you can see this bit up here went from 00 to 02. I'll put it into uh, forward, so 04. So we can know that that bit up here in, is the one that is related to uh, what gear the car is in. So this one here, and then that is what gear. If I change it the high low knob, you'll see one, zero, one, zero. So we're also have, being able to interpret the gear, so whether it's in high or low, and then whether it's in drive. The other thing I can do is I'll put the high beams on for a second and then turn the high beams off. I did see before that the high beams were appearing somewhere, but I'm not seeing it just right now. So uh, the goal is to decode some of this stuff. Obviously one is likely our speed. One might be how many miles are on the device for the odometer. Uh, and so we kind of have a range of different attributes with different data embedded inside of them. Now, some might mean you need to be decoded into hex or decimal. Uh, so what I'm doing right now is I'm working on getting this fed interpreted with the right map and then interpreted into real dash so that we can use these attributes inside of our dashboard. So once I mount this back inside, we won't be missing things like your battery power. We won't be missing your speed that's coming from the car, your odometer reading, other things like that. So I'm gonna build the map for these uh, CAN bus attributes. And the other, th then that will allow us to customize the dashboard. So we can customize the dashboard, the look and feel. Uh, Real Dash has a ton of really cool templates and then you can build them also fully from scratch. So. Uh, looking forward to trying to figure out how to do this. This will all hide kind of inside the dash uh, and be hidden away, but it just plugs into the USB port on the back of these Android Auto head units. So that's the progress I've made so far. So the only other downfalls we talked about when doing the Android Auto swap over is the soundbar speakers in this thing are, there. we used to send out preamp audio to it, I assume that there's some sort of small amplifier in there. Getting the two to work together has been kind of a bit awkward. So I may end up, if you're gonna do a full speaker swap, because these devices come obviously with amplified lines as well as pre-line out. So if you wanted to just route directly to speakers um, and implement you know, some front left, front right speakers down here, when you swap over to this head unit, it would be really easy to do that. So one of the things I'm debating is, getting a proper audio, you know, for front left, front right, rear, rear uh, audio system. And then that way we're just gonna allow the head unit to control it as opposed to the current setup where I believe it used to tell the sound bar over can to turn the volume up and turn the volume off and change the LED colors back here. So, you know, if we wanna let the sound bar control the audio, we may have to uh, go to an unamplified setup back there or use the line outs. Uh, so still kind of working on that, but this is the progress so far. So it definitely is possible to use the WaveShare um, USB to CAN adapter to listen to the Evolution Golf Carts controller and feed that into Real Dash. Real Dash running on a cheap Amazon head unit that runs Android 10. So uh, overall, that's kind of cool progress. I hope that helps somebody else, maybe who's building a custom cart or a custom dashboard. So cheers.